Hello, welcome back to my channel. I know what you may be thinking after seeing the title of this video. Wow, what animal could she possibly have gotten? Another snake? Another lizard? A turtle maybe? No, it's bugs. <laughs> but listen, I think they're really cool and I think you should stick around and watch and see my new bugs. Listen, listen. bugs i got a new jumping spider i don't know what the gender is yet or what the name is gonna be i think it might be a female though i also got a mantis so that's very exciting why are we holding hands hi and i also got some isopods which i'm actually really excited about i just ordered them like literally five minutes ago so that's very exciting and i'm really looking forward to it why am i you're just a little baby. I can't help but sway with you. Anyway, so I unboxed the mantis and the spider, which is what you're gonna see right now. And I also got some stuff from Etsy and I got a enclosure from Tarantula Cribs that won't come till I think August 3rd or 6th. I'm gonna put all this stuff in that video, which is why this video is gonna take a little bit longer to go up, but I'm really looking forward to everything and I hope you'll stick around. Okay, so it's about 1.20, my spider and mantis are being delivered today, and it's been staying out for delivery since like early, early this morning. I've been up since like 5, so hopefully soon, because I got to go out today. Oh my god! Where's my tripod? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Where's my tripod? Okay, I've ripped into it. Now we're just gonna break in here. So... I got a, I believe, Phytopus regius, so a jumping spider, a regal jumping spider, and a mantis, a, there's different names for it, either a bordered mantis, an Arizona mantis, green mantis, um, oh, yeah, there's a few different names for it. This is a freaking mess. Okay, are we ready? Oh my goodness. So tiny in here. Oh my goodness, they're all sideways. Okay, so you can see the spider is right here. I just want to make sure that it's okay. Okay, here is our little guy. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep him or her in the cup until she's a bit bigger or if I want to put her in to an enclosure but like keep it relatively empty I think that's probably what I'll do but I don't want to ruin her web or him I'm really hoping it's a her but oh my goodness you are fast I'm trying to get a good view Okay. Can't even focus. Cause she's just or he is just so little. Let's get her back in her cup for now and then I will set something up. Hi. Wanna come say hi? Oh look. Flies going everywhere. Oh my goodness. Hi. Are you swaying? Hi. Um, excuse me. No making a run for it. I've collected a bunch of flies that are going everywhere. 
Okay, so I know I don't really need to like do a whole setup, but the, for the spider, I'm gonna just do a little bit of some loose cocoa in a cup and I'm gonna pat it down. Um, and then I have this, but this is obviously too big for the situation. I'm gonna cut off like this much of it and put it in. So, zoom in a little bit. Um, yeah, just put this in here. And this is gonna be the Spood's house for a little bit. So I'm gonna try to, ooh, that might be too much. Of course, just put in some fruit flies, but make sure I'm saving enough for our nymph as well. Okay, jeez, that was a freaking hassle. Okay, so here we have our little cup with our little spood, who is right there. Hopefully they will web up, make a nice house until I'm able to get them into the tarantula cribs enclosure when they're a little bit bigger. Are you gonna drink some water? Don't do it. Don't. Okay, I, I know I just look homeless right now, but I after that clip that you just saw, my computer just turned off and I got dark. After that clip you just saw, I made up the mantises, mantises enclosure in its same little cup because it's still so small. And then I forgot to film it, so I'm gonna show you it now. It's very similar to the spider, except for I did put some moss in here just to kind of keep it humid so that it's able to molt when it's ready to molt. It ate some of a mealworm this morning, so that was very positive. I was very happy for that. And yeah, this is where this little one is living until it gets a little bit bigger. We're up from sunburnt Casper the ghost of, how do I look like this? I got one of my Etsy packages and my other one is coming today. And then my tarantula cribs enclosure comes tomorrow, and that's all my orders, so I'm very excited. Let's open this. I probably could have got a better knife for this. Also, I know my nails are looking really slay, just it's fine. <gasps> I'm so excited! Ah! I'm actually so excited, okay. This is the one I that made me buy this. Oh my goodness. So I will give you the shop name and everything um, after. Oh, so cute. Oh my God, this is a strong magnet. Oh my God, I was worried that it wouldn't be strong. Ugh. My goodness. This is so cute. I can't even believe how cute this is. I can't get over how cute this is. Look at how cute it is. Okay, so there's that. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. So I got this for the um, mantis, actually. Yeah, this is for the mantis, and it's for the chop of the enclosure, but I might use it for the spider. I don't know yet, to be honest, but this is just some like moss ribbon just to make the surfaces a bit easier for climbing. So I don't know if this is going to be for the mantis or the spider yet, but we'll see. One more thing. This is so cute and I actually considered just making my own of these, but I just wanted to support her little business and like, it's just so cute. Like I could not do this good of a job. Here's a little <laughs> walnut ledge. Oh, I'm so excited to put all this in. That is so cute. Oh, my goodness. And I do have a few more things coming that are like this today. 
with the isopod, so we will see that later. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. All right, I'll see you when the other stuff comes. To pre-open it a little bit, just because my address is on the top. <gasps> okay, let's start with this. <gasps> so cute. Ah! Okay, so this is a little food bowl that will go on the side of the enclosure. I guess I could zoom in a little bit. This is really soft. So yeah, it's just a little food bowl. So cute. So that I could like drop little mealworms in there and stuff. I'm gonna put that with these ones. And this is the one other thing I got. These were on her Etsy, but she was kind enough to send them with isopods just so I didn't have to pay shipping twice. Oh, it's so cute. This is so soft. So this is just a little ledge. A little, oh my goodness, a little ledge with some moss. It's so cute. I'm so excited about all of this. Oh my god. Whoa. I thought it was smoking, but I think I'm just having weird vision. Oh no, it's got like wood coming off of it, that's why. I thought I was dying for a second. So I got two different ones. These look like the magic potions. It was a 15 count, but I think she threw in a few more for me, which was really nice. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so these are definitely the magic potions. Let's see if we can show you one that's not all balled up. Awesome, okay. I'm super excited, dude, you're rolling everywhere. And these are the lava ones, I believe it's called. So you can see it's kind of a similar color, like the clear situation, but like with red or kind of orange. Cool, I'm really excited. Yeah, you can really see the colors on this guy here. Okay, so here we have the two bins where I'm going to keep the isopods. Also, if my hands are shaky, um, I don't really know why, but they are, so pretend they're not. I've set up these two bins. If you'd like to know how I set them up and what I mixed and what the substrate is, comment and I will make a short or a video about it or something, or a completely separate video about isopods. But if you see these little white bits, this is perlite, and that's honestly not ideal. Perlite will not break down and it's just not necessarily ideal, but the my favorite like topsoil to use that is fully like organic and everything does have perlite in it, so I guess not fully, but perlite won't harm your isopods, so it's okay. So let's start with one of them. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a spray down. And also, I have more holes on one side than the other side, and the side that has less holes for aeration, I have lots of moss, because this will be the more damp side, and this will be the more arid side. Okay, so these are the Magic Potion ones. And I'm just going to put all of this in here in its own little area. How should I do it? Just literally dump it? I'm gonna leave this carrot in here. Sorry y'all, don't mean to be violent. Yeah. And there you go. So I'm hoping that they will start to 
breed and take over the situation. And once everything is settled in a while, I will put in some rapashi and fish food in here for them to snack on, as well as whatever is in the substrate. One more thing that I'm going to add is actually just a little scoop of my springtail culture. We'll see what happens with that. And I'm just gonna write. And there we go. So here's our next bin. And like the one before, I'm just gonna give it a good mist. And here is the next one. So we'll just go ahead and do what we did before and literally just plop them in here. Whoa, there's a lot of them all coming out now. Oh my goodness, they're fast. So I am gonna spread this out a bit just to find the carrot. Yeah, I'm just gonna spread it out a tad. Yeah, I really think these guys are super cool looking. I'll just put him back in here. There you go. Wow, there is a lot more, I feel like, in this one. And they are moving and grooving. The other one, just a few of my springtails, like not very much. have to make a short or a video at some point updating on how everything is going in a couple months and yeah so I really want to mention the sellers and shops that I got stuff from in this video so first of all the jumping spider and the mantis came from mantis labs which is in Canada I originally found him through Facebook so I will put his Facebook here and I will link it in the description below he was really helpful getting all information because I've never had a mantis before and I was a little bit intimidated just because they seemed like they could be very fragile, but he was really helpful about explaining things to me and helping me, so he was awesome. Next, from the three things I got from Etsy, that was Nevaja Spoods, which I butchered that for sure, but here is her Etsy and I will link it in the description below. She was really great. I talked to her and she sent some really awesome stuff and I'm definitely gonna be ordering from there again because she had a lot of other things that I saw and was like, those are so cute and I have to have them. And last but certainly not least, we have Natty's Micro Pets. I originally found her through Facebook because I'm Canadian and I've had a hard time finding places to get jumping spiders in Canada. The first one I got was actually from an expo and I've never ordered them online before. And though I did end up getting one from Mantis Labs, I'm sure I'll get one from Natty's Micro Pets in the future. And she also is who I got the isopods from as well as two things off of her Etsy. But I talked to her through Facebook. So I'll put her Etsy here and, and I'll put that in the description below. So I just want to say thank you very much to those sellers because they were super helpful and accommodating and I will definitely be purchasing from them again. Hey guys, so I hate to do this, but this video is just getting a little bit too long. So I think what I'm going to do is end the video here and then when the tarantula cribs enclosure comes in the mail and I set it up, I'll make a video then and putting the spider into the enclosure and whatever I'm updating the mantis to at that time and I'll give an update on how the isopods are doing. So thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that I have to cut the video into two parts. I really did not want to do that but this one's just a little bit too long. I think I'm just gonna make it two parts. So thank you so much for watching. You're absolutely the best if you watched all the way through and if you want 
to watch the next video, then subscribe and turn on the post notifications to get notified when I do upload. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Ada appreciates it very, very much. I love when she holds my fingers like a little hug. I literally love you so much I could cry. My eyelashes are not above. Please don't eat them. Oh my god, I love this lizard so much.